specific. I need a ladies' trust from anywhere in the room. Now relax. I'm not going to embarrass you. I'm not going to put you onto the stage. You will remain in your seat. But the reason I need your trust is I would like to borrow a ring, either an engagement ring or a wedding ring. If it's a little tight, you can just pretend you're on a business trip and it will come off. <laughs> Possibly a c convention fit, I think is what they call it. So, so do we have any ladies in the room that have a... Yes, lady. Well, I say what? I'll give you, you can be number one, okay? <laughs> Who are my chatty ladies over here? Yeah, there's no point, right, for pointing at her. Do you have a ring that you can remove? No, okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Do we have anybody else? There's one. I need two or three ladies. Yes. Number two and one final lady. <laughs> Just so you know, you've got a bird in the back of your hair. <laughs> Just so Okay. Who... No, no, please stay sitting, please stay sitting. Number two, number three. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Um, lady on the end here, but I'll answer that. Can you give me number one, two, or three? Two. Lady over here, number two, yes. May I ask your name? Barbara, okay. Nothing is going to go wrong in this trip, Barbara. Trust me, originally from England, as you can probably tell. I now do live in the States because I'm married to an American. Woman. <laughs> okay. Um... Not that I've got anything against gay marriage. Having said that, I don't. I really do think gay people should be allowed to get married. I do. Because let's face it, heterosexual people have been miserable for years. Why the hell shouldn't gay people <laughs> be miserable for years? But uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm very happily married. In fact, you know, I've been with my wife for 17 years and she still thinks I'm cool. <laughs> Thank you. Well, she says I'm not so hot, but I know what she means. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I recently said to her, well... What would you do if I died? She said, hope I get acquitted. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but we were, we did share a very tender moment recently. We were out playing golf, and as we were walking down the fairway, I said to her, if I died, um, do you think you'd ever get remarried? And she thought for a little while and said, um, possibly, yeah. I said, and if you did get remarried, would you let him use my clubs? And she said, oh, no, no, he's left-handed. <laughs> Anyway, I do guess, Baba, nothing is going to go wrong. My car is parked right in Fort Lauderdale International Airport, the long-term park in there. And if anything goes wrong on this trip, Baba, you can have the keys to my car, okay? Not the car, Baba, just the keys to my car, because I have a spare set, so this is like a token. J j unless you particularly want a Pinto station wagon, do you? <laughs> comedy, Baba, I'm doing comedy, okay? Just to keep everything above board, what I am going to do is just come over to the other side of the audience and... Could I ask a favour at this moment in time? If I look at you, and you look away, it doesn't make you invisible. Okay? I can still see you. Okay, and I do apologise to the people sitting up here on the shelf and in the ashtray up here. I realise some of you can't see down here. It's just as a lady taking her clothes off. So I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> She's not wearing any. I'll tell you what, the lady's sitting hidden in the middle here. May I ask your name? Jenny. Jenny. Ginny, with an I, not an E. Ginny. Ginny, yeah. Ginny, okay. Do me a favour. Whereabouts are you from, Ginny? Pardon? Whereabouts are you from? Philadelphia. Philadelphia! Big deal, nobody cares. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Love your cheese. That's, that's, that's quite amazing. Which, which part of Philadelphia? Um, outside Philadelphia in Harleysville. Harleysville. Harleysville? Yeah. Well, what, what street in Harleysville? <laughs> no, 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 no. My brother's working there tonight. He's a burglar. Anyway, so he's not, he's not, he's not, he's a car thief. Anyway, do me a favour. Ginny, just lean forward into the microphone. Can you say hi, Ginny? Hi, Ginny. Everybody say hi, Ginny. Hi, Ginny. They love you already. Do me a favour, Ginny, in your left hand. What I want you to do is just hold my car keys by the sides like that, nice and high where everybody can see them, okay? Nice and high. Remember, Barbara, anything goes wrong? Keys to the Pinto, pretty exciting stuff. And I would like you to watch this carefully because uh, I would love your ring. Remember? You want my Jaguar? Okay. When people say, you make it bigger. Oh, you're talking about the diamonds. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, here's, check this out. I take Barbara's ring. Only three left for our QVC fans in the room. I take Barbara's ring, I push Barbara's ring into my hand. I tap my hand twice with my magic wand which looks uncannily like a Holland America pen, and unbelievable but true, the ring completely disappears. Hold it down. 
too late, too late, because it doesn't just disappear, but it appears, Barbara, back on your finger. No, but it would be a neat trick, wouldn't it? <laughs> like... Well, what did you expect? I mean, if I was that good, I'd be working on land, wouldn't I? However, Barbara, <laughs> thank you for watching. I did say if this trick went wrong, you could have the keys to the Pinto, which Ginny's been holding out in the audience the entire time. In fact, Barbara, before I even took your ring, do me a favour, Ginny, lower the key case down. Don't touch, just lower it down, look into the top. Can you see something in there? It's a ring. A nice and loud into the microphone so everybody can it's hear. It's a ring. It's a ring. And what I'm going to do is take this up fingertips because, believe it or not, on the hook where the key to the Pinto would normally be hanging, hanging on that hook is indeed a ring. And before I unclip this, kidding aside, don't unclip it, Barbara, just verify. Is that your ring? It is your ring. Thank you for being so trusting, Barbara. I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. I'm sorry I didn't see this over there because it would have made a nice convincer. To Barbara, much love, all the guys. Thank you very much for your help, Barbara. Thank you very much. Please give Jim